Okay, hey guys. So it looks like this is part four <laughs> um, of this uh, file folder, um, ephemera folder that I'm making. And I did decide on what to do with this um, little song or poem. Poem here, I guess they're both poems. Um, and I really wish I hadn't folded it now in half, but I am going to make a, um, a pocket tag to hold this in which is gonna be part, the pocket tag is gonna be uh, sheet music, which I will back on the back of that tag so that it can be written on. And then the front of that pocket tag is gonna be vellum so that you can still see the uh, that, that this is inside. And I'm going to put some birds on the vellum. I think that's the plan. Since this is, came out of a, a bird book, it's all po poetry about birds. So, let's do a little bit of inking here. And I am going to put a little tab on this as well. So, I'm going to see if I can. I know I have some that I've made that were kind of floating around. Let's see if one of these will, will work for it. it. Doesn't have to be a real sturdy one, so yeah. One of these I think would be very appropriate. These I just made out of uh, washi tape. Oop. On paper, there we go. So this little tab, so cute, which is gonna go there something like that so i'm gonna do that first so bear with me if you don't um see what i'm talking about you soon will <laughs> here i thought i'd be able to do this little file folder um in one or two videos ha huh always takes me longer always takes me longer than I think it's going to there cute Let me put that so I'm gonna try to tear this mute sheet music down to the size I want I'll save room for tape because I'm going to use the tape for this or yeah I'm going to use tape and then I think I'm also going to use um, washi tape as well so or maybe I'll just use the washi tape yeah that will fit right in there nice and snug okay so that's what I'll do I'll go from there to there I'll give it a little wiggle room So that means I'm actually tearing this pretty close to right there. Okay. And let's go ahead and take off this top piece. And I pause because I'm thinking I want, do I want it to have a tag shape? I might need a little extra space at the top there or just leave it I think I might just leave it a long tag without having the tag shape at the top maybe it'll be more appropriate for this let's see what does that look like on the other side there's not much there lots of music a lot of that's going to get covered on the other side anyway so I'm wondering if I do this. Oh, that's something. Actually, you know, I saw Shabby Dabby do or Roxy Creations. I don't know. I saw a few different people do this. Oh, let's see. Do I have another piece of that sheet music floating around that's in one piece? Hmm, I thought I had another one in there. 
Hmm. That's all right. We will we will just move ahead. Okay. I was gonna wrap it around. I saw the pockets that they made before where they wrapped the book page around the edges. And I didn't think ahead enough for that. So I will do it a different way. Not a big deal. There we go. And we're gonna have to have vellum to match that. Let's do it this way. So I'm just gonna line it right up. And then tear the same way. Okay, so I'm going to be using the washi. I think I'm going to use... Jeez, I just don't know. There's so many pretty ones. There's something I think a little lighter. And it's got, well, that's got birds on it too. Let's use that one. It's awful pretty. Awful pretty. Um, before I do, let's go ahead and ink. Oops, I'm going to put my thing back in that. There we go. Let's ink this up a little. So you're going to see, you're going to see the edges. Um, at least on the inside. I don't know, actually you're not because that's going to be covering it. So the only edge you're going to see is the edge over here. Yes. Aha. So let's just ink up that edge. See, I got the old thinking cap on. <laughs> Barely, but it's there. Okay. Um, although, I don't know if I want that wording there. Let's see, what is this song? Festive merriment. Okay, we're gonna stick with this side. I guess it's the same either way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like this wording better. Yes, it's more festive. All right, so. Yeah, I guess we're gonna do this. So I will start. Let's start with the long side. And I am going to put some extra glue down. So I definitely want to make sure that this sticks. out of the way. There. Okay. Get this lined up. Before I fold it over. Oops, sorry if my head was in the way. That fold it over. Oops, come on, it's, don't roll over on yourself. Come on, there we go. Straighten out. There. Okay, so there's that. Let's trim that down a little.
cool. Um, let's see, where is that thumb hole going to be? I think what I'll do is... some hole in. Question is, do I put some hole at the top or just go ahead and put it in the middle? I'll just put it in the middle. Let's get as close to the middle as we can. So if that's about... I guess I'm eyeballing it. There we go. <laughs> okay. And let's go ahead and ink this too while I'm thinking about it. So this will show. There we go, just a little there. And let's go ahead and hit these two top sides. So I'm gonna do the front. I'm going to trim that off nice and neat as much as I can. There we go. And there. And let's trim that. Oops, let me get that off of there first. It was a sticky job. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. Oh, you know what? I never added any extra. Well, let's see how that... This will be a good experiment. Let's see if this holds as good as the other one does. Feels like it's holding pretty well. It's sticking. Let's um, bone fold or press just in case. And let's get this bottom one. It's so cute. Very pretty, very delicate. So this is gonna be our tag, cute. And it will get firmed up a little bit by adding this to it on the back for writing space. I'm gonna tear it down a little bit further. Let's do, let's do one end first. And then just want to have that same raggedy edge. Yep. Okay, so yeah, we'll do that direction. Let's ink it because I can. Just a light inking on this one. Yeah. 
Uh, here we go. right isn't that cute and I wanted to put birds on there or at least one there's a cute little guy let's see just put you in the corner up at the top well let's get you cut out first this little guy he's cute too but his little nose is missing <laughs> all right and I think let me take the time we're doing good, only 15 minutes in or so. Um, quickly fussy cut this little guy out. And this is the last bird, I think, from the paper pack, at least the one that I pulled out to use. So we've gotten um, a lot of decorating done. And there's still more butterflies. And then there's my uh, insect pages. Okay. Oh, you are cute. I feel like you need something under you, though. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, we've got some more labels. It's an awful big label. That's too big. <clears throat> Definitely too big. Um, let's see. We got another little label in here, something smaller. Something smaller. Kind of looks like he could sit right on top of that. I like it. And that'll be a nice little surprise when you pull it out of the uh, pocket, right? Or do you, should we do it high? Right, yeah, let's do it high. All right. So I'm actually going to, I'd like to glue the bird. I want the bird on there. Oh, so cute. Hmm. What I'm going to do it in this order. Glue them both. Let's see if this will. I'm a little nervous about doing glue stick on this shinier paper on the vellum, but we're going to give it a try. Oops. Come on now. I kind of want these to be interweaved. There we go. <laughs> okay, I did it. Isn't that cute? I know, everything is cute. Cute, cute, cute. But isn't that a cute little tag? There's room to write. And let's shove that back in there, and that way this can be actually red. Yeah, I like it. Preserve both sides of that pretty poem, of the different poems. Cool, so let's find a home for this now. In our little folio. Where are you? Here you are. Oh, yep, and there's a pocket for it right there. And that is just perfect. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's see. I'd like to put something in this little pocket. And then since I have, have the material already handy, should make another little pocket or 
tuck or something. I've got these two little tiny pieces here. Oops, I got cat hair on my fingers. <laughs> Where did that come from? Hmm, I wonder. Let's save those little pieces for another day. Um, I thought I had another piece floating around. It was a little bigger. cut it off of this um so there's that and I think I'm gonna do something very similar or you know what I don't need to have both of them vellum pockets could have it vellum I do have this sheet music Make a little, I am unsure. Okay. Well, I guess I will just use this. Let's do the same thing. So I'm gonna cut this, up. yeah. Where's my, here's my tear number. So let's tear it about here. do it over here because I just don't think I don't trust myself that it's going to be straight <laughs> not at all so I know I cannot eyeball stuff okay does that and if I ink it Fold that over, yes. So let's quickly just ink the, oops. Ink the side that you're gonna fold, Tara. So if that gets folded over, similar to the other side, it will, there you go. Look like that. And so there's that pocket. And we'll use the tape again. So two sides get the tape. Okay. Let's get that nice and tight. And there we go. Okay. There. So now we've got two tuck pockets. So we just have a few more little things to make. Yeah, and then this guy will at least have something in each pocket and we can go from there. So, what shall we do? So I do have this little piece. We could make something with as an idea. Got a few little pieces, don't we? I oh, got that pretty sewing machine. I really like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
I think um, let's play with some of that then. Why don't we? I got some more dictionary page. Let's see, what shall we do? Like the different color combinations. Not sure yet about that tag. I know there was, um, oops, let me get that out of the way. I found on here the Postman Butterfly. I really like that. Hmm. Must have been this guy. Hmm. Oh, I kind of like that too. It's kind of fun getting away from it all. Hmm, let me make an interesting tag. Be a big tag. I do love some of these butterflies. That that is awful pretty. Owl butterfly. Is that this one or is that this one? It must be butterfly right. Wow, it says it's bigger than a sparrow. It gets its name from the huge eyes on its wings. Isn't that neat? Hmm. I like it. All right, let's stick with one thing at a time. All righty, I want to definitely use this little sewing machine. So how can I, oh, this nice background for that, I think. I do like that for the background. Be a good size tag for right there. All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to cut down this side. There's a little bit of a white strip. And let's clean this up a little. And it also looks a little crooked there, but not so much. Okay. And I'm gonna do a try to do a fairly straight. <laughs> I say that, and then it immediately starts going crooked. All right, we're gonna do a torn edge on two sides and a finger tear versus a ruler tour tear, either way. There we go, and I'm gonna put that right on there. All right, let's uh, ink this up. That's kind of cool. Let's think of what else we can put on here. make it pretty. I'm definitely going to do something with these corners. You know what though? I do want to back this one 100%. So let's cut out the tag shape first. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I just don't trust myself. Let's uh, Cut it nice and neat. Let's see how big we want this tag to be. Let's go about right there. It's about five inches. So let's do a straight line from here. Oop. Well, I guess I'll do it just slightly less than five inches because I just cut it again. Oh boy. There we go. All right. And I do want to back this one. Let's do a two-fold backing, and we're going to do some of it with this book page. And then we'll add a little bit of a writing surface on top of it. Yeah. Let's do that. This side shows up better. Let's do this side.
So let's glue this down. Um, <laughs> seems to be holding okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go with it. Okay, this nice and gluey. and gluey. Let's go like this. So I can see if it's straight or not. They're at least straight enough, right? Okay. Where's my other little card? Where are you hiding? There it is, way over there. Okay. So I am going to, need to bring this back out is because I'm going to go ahead and trim all this just like this. Nice and easy, quick. I know this side is not a straight cut to begin with, so there we go. And then let's do our corners. Excellent. All right, so the front side's gonna get this and put that down low. I think I'm gonna put a little label or something up there. That's definitely too big of a label. I like a slightly smaller one. Oh, let's see, come here labels. Oh, that one's pretty. Ooh. I'll put that in there. I don't have anything small. A small butterfly or a small little flower. Something tiny. Hmm. Hmm. Here's a butterfly. It's kind of a dark butterfly. I don't like that. <laughs> Digging. Let's see, there's a few little little pieces. Whoops, and of course it goes on the floor. Yeah, I saved that one. Nope. Nope. I don't like that either. Nope. Well, I just may not end up putting... Oop, there goes more in my lap. <laughs> oh boy, am I a messy crafter. Definitely. Well, maybe I like the circle. I think I like the circle. All right, let's get these back in their spot before I put them all on the floor. There we go. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Let me 
just roughly roughly do this up so that it looks like it's gotten a little bit wear and tear on it yeah okay um although i will you know what i'm going to ink the around the outside edge of the back because it will definitely show there Definitely, that glue, definitely, glue stick definitely seems to be working. Um, all right, so let's uh, put these down, shall we? And then I think I'll um, be in pretty good shape for this video. Okay, glue stick. label down and then another little little something something here this has got to go on next on the back Topper for that. Hmm. Yeah, for now, I'm not going to worry about a topper for that. Oh, I do want to do the corners though. So, you know, I'll have to re ink a little bit, but that's okay. Let's do just these corners. Yes. And look at that. Isn't that lovely? That fits in there nice. And the bird still shows. That's an extra piece. So all that's left really is I have one little pocket left over here. What do we want to do for that? Let's see, I'd like to get at least one thing into each pocket. This one's already got two things in it. I'm gonna keep it just like that. The colors just look so pretty. Um, what was I thinking of doing? Let's see. New pastures, awful travel to search new spots. Okay. Ooh, fluttering by. That's kind of neat. That might be neat to put there. So this is also about the same butterfly. On the bottom of their wings. Oh, this must be. this type of that's called a morpho oh I see the wings are the eyes are on the opposite side okay so that's this guy hmm. I could turn that into a little card the hair streak I think I like that one. <laughs> let's let's turn him into a little a little card or tag, shall we? And then we'll be all set <clears throat> for today. 
<clears throat> excuse me and um yeah let's start out straight and Okay, so um, I need to give him a firmer backing. Let's get this out of the way for now. Oh, uh, let's see, is this wide enough? I kind of like that colorful background. Hmm. I like that better though. Let's do this. And. Yeah, this will be a tag. Or a little journaling card. I could just make it a little journaling card too. It doesn't have to be a tag. Right? Doesn't have to be a tag. So let's go ahead and round our corners. And same with this. And definitely gonna ink this little guy. Because he's awful bright. Tone him down a little bit. I'm gonna tone you down just a little bit, buddy. Mr. Squeaky. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have at least a little of that showing on the back. inked and let's see this is gonna go here awful cute and then I need uh, space to write on hmm. hoping I had enough empty space on one of these to make that work we have enough um, pages to do that, or enough blank spots on any of these pages to really do that with. Let's see, we'll take one quick look at, um, I think the newspaper has that much either. Let's take a peek in here. I'm sure I got something in here. All right, so this last little piece. I do have some interesting paper here. Hmm. Hmm. All right, just go grab a quick piece. Look over on this side. Anything, anything. Let me just keep taking a peek here, guys. I know I got something handy. Oh yeah, this is a fly, fly leaf from a book. That'll be perfect, and it's a better tone. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do is tear it down a little.
don't want a whole lot showing, so. Let's, oops, let me flip this around. I just want a little of that color to peek out, just a little. So I will be rounding the corners on this. Oops, let's do this. Let me line it back up. That seems to work well for me. Yeah, this video is definitely getting longer than I thought it would. So I'll do that. Mm -hmm. That's lined up there, so I'm going to go right there. And we are going to round the corners. Okay, a quick little ink. With whatever ink is left on that dauber, there should be plenty. Yep. All right, let's do this up. So we've got some gloom to do. I don't think it'll dry before I get to the second one. Lots of ink on there, or lots of ink. <laughs> get lots of glue on there. Get this first one down. Yep. And get the second piece down. Just a little bit peeking out here and there. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. So, isn't that cute? Let's put one, I know I've got one in here, one little label. Or maybe some numbers or something, but something small. Something small. I know I dropped a lot of them on the floor. <laughs> Ooh, here's something interesting. How about I put that in the corner? Yeah. Give it just a little ink in. A little something to it. Cool. So let's see how it all turned out. Okay, up front, our back, we'll open it up. We've got the little notepad here, the little bird hiding there. Just flip it over. You've got your notepad. I really like how that turned out. Over here, we've got our postcard. That's actually a little pocket. We open that up and we've got, starting from the right, we've got a little tag in a vellum tuck. We've got a pocket tag. And I've got the envelope we made. And I've got this gorgeous tag. I just love this one. And then we've got this little tag or journal card in this vellum tuck pocket. Cool. So this was um, the file folder ephemera folio. And I think at least 80% of it, if not more, was using one of the uh, paper packs, um, the same as I have in my Etsy shop. So the only thing different from this folio that I didn't do on the ones in the um, 
in the Etsy shop is I don't have the little charm on it or the, the um, fabric and lace uh, flip paper clip. But um, yeah, I think I like this. I um, will probably add those things to it or something similar, at least maybe a charm, but we'll see. Um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this one yet. I might use this as a giveaway. All right, guys, thank you so much. You have a good day and see you next time.